everyone. It's a nice quiet day here at Gecko's Garage. No vehicles to fix. Ah, there's Baby Truck and her friends. Molly the Baby Bus and Jane the Baby Monster Truck. They're at the park today enjoying the sunshine. Chase the ball, baby truck. But look out for that tree. Ouch. Did that hurt, baby truck? At least mummy truck's here to help. Oh, there, there, baby truck. Don't cry. Accidents happen. Mummy truck, why don't you bring baby truck over to Gecko's garage and we can help. Hello, baby truck. How are you? What's that, Blue? She's got a hurty bumper. Let's get you inside the garage and we'll have you fixed up in no time. You're very brave, baby truck. We all have accidents, don't you worry. We'll raise you up just a little using my hydraulic lift. First, Blue will lift your bumper back into place. There. Now, Red's going to cover up those scratches with some beautiful blue paint to match. That's looking better already. Finally, Yellow will check there's no damage underneath. And Green can weld your bumper so it stays in place. Down you come, baby truck. You really were very brave. I bet you're very proud of her, mummy truck. Where did you get those from, Mechanicals? Vicky! Great to see you! One ice cream, please, with sprinkles and a flake. Oh no! Vicky's lost power to her ice cream churn and freezer. That means she can't stir the mixture or freeze it. Hmm. It looks like a problem with Vicky's generator. The generator creates electricity to power the churn and the freezer. We need replacement parts from the garage. But by the time we get there, all her ice cream will have melted. And just look at this queue of mechanicals waiting for ice cream. First, we need a way to churn up this ice cream mixture some kind of mixer. I think I've got an idea. Everyone, stop what you are doing. This is an emergency. Celia, Rick, Mechanicals, come with me. The Mechanicals are helping out so there's no need to feel glum. They'll pump Vicky's ice cream mixture into Celia's mixing drum. Celia churns the ice cream mixture around and around and around. And now it's ready. And... Oh no, it's pouring on the ground! Rick, what are you doing? That's not fresh tarmac. It's supposed to be a chilly and delicious ice cream snack. Of course it isn't working right. Now I know the reason. Celia is doing the mixing, but the mixture isn't freezing. To go and find another freezer might take hours and hours. So let's all call for Super Mac with his super powers. Go, go, Super Mechanical! Wow, Super Mechanical is using his freezing ray to cool down Celia's drum. Let's try again. I can see a keen Mechanical with his cone ready and waiting. Come on, Vicky. 
Now Celia's serving the ice cream to that queue of mechanicals. Let's get you back to the garage to get your generator fixed. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. The mechanicals have all the parts to fix your generator. So you can get back to the beach and serve more ice cream later. Celia was very kind. She really loves to mix. But she should be with the construction crew. They've got a road to fix. Oh dear. Those vehicles do look grumpy. They've been waiting at the roadworks for ages. We're back. Thanks for helping Celia and Super Mechanical. Hooray. I think I'm finally going to get my ice cream. Wow. An ice cream from Celia and another one from Vicky. What a lucky gecko I am. George is so big, he can't fit inside the garage. So he's having his tyres changed outside. Those look great. Well done, Mechanicals. Before he goes home to the mine, George is going to visit his little brother Dylan the dump truck over at the construction site. The site entrance is wide. But George is much wider. Uh-oh. He's going to knock down the fence. Watch out, George. Oh, dear. Florence and Sid are getting the flowers ready to plant in the gardens of the new houses. What pretty flowers. Red. Yellow. And blue. Don't leave the flowers there. Those flowers are tall. But George is much taller. Uh-oh. George can't see the flowers. And he's going to squash them. Watch out, George. Dear. Celia's pouring concrete foundations into that trench. The trench is large, but George is much larger. Uh-oh. He's going to drive straight through it. Watch out, George! Oh, dear. Here's George's brother, Dylan. He doesn't look very happy about all the mess that George has made today. Andy the Animal Ambulance is visiting Number Zoo today. He's here to pick up a poorly monkey and take her over to Dr Poppy's Pet Rescue Centre. Oh dear, what's happened to poor Andy? He's picked up his poorly passenger, but those cheeky monkeys have torn off his flashing lights. Andy's covered in banana skins. Drive over to Gecko's garage and we'll get you fixed up as quickly as possible. Before we can check you over, we need to clean off all those banana skins. Time for a quick trip through the truck and car wash. better. Now we can see the damage those pesky monkeys have caused. Come into the garage and we'll take a good look at you. Those naughty monkeys. Your wipers and mirrors have been torn off as well as your flashing lights. Talking of monkeys, we'd better check on your patient. Go, go mechanicals! Oh no, the patient isn't here. She must have escaped. She's not in the ambulance. Where can she have gone? Hey, put that down. 
No, that's very expensive. Catch that monkey. Oh dear, I think I'll have to call Dr Poppy for help. Hello, Gecko. Is everything okay? How is that sore arm of yours healing? Oh, fine, thanks to you, Dr Poppy. But I have another problem right now. Andy the Animal Ambulance is in the garage for repairs, but the patient he was bringing to you has escaped. And she's wrecking my garage. That sounds like Mabel the monkey. She is a cheeky monkey. Can you catch her? She's too fast and she's throwing things around like crazy. Try playing some gentle music to calm her down. Then put some bananas into the back of the ambulance and she might go back in by herself. OK. Thanks, Dr Poppy. We'll give that a try. Bye. That monkey is a handful, even though her tail is floppy but she's safely back where she belongs. All thanks to Dr. Poppy. The mechanicals have fixed you up. They work hard without fail. Now it's off to the pet rescue center to fix that monkey's tail. These vehicles are helping Helen with her training exercises. It's important for Helen to practice lifting different vehicles and placing them down without hurting them so that she can rescue vehicles in a real emergency. Helen's lifting each vehicle and placing them in a special order. Can you guess what the order is? That's right, she's sorting them by size. Starting from the left, we have the smallest vehicle first. Millie the motorbike, Rick the road roller, Max the monster truck, Rebecca the recycling truck, the owner of the fire truck, and oh, there should be one more. Ah, here he is, Bobby the bus, just in time. Bobby's the biggest vehicle here. Helen, can you please lift Bobby to the end of the line? Oh dear, Helen, I think there's something wrong. Your winch cable looks like it's about to snap. Ah! Oh dear, oh dear. That wasn't supposed to happen. My arm is sore, but I'll be okay. Oh, Helen, you look badly hurt. I'll get Florence the forklift to lift you back up onto your skids and we'll take a look at you. The skids are a helicopter's feet. Helen rests on them when she isn't flying. Your skids seem okay, but your rotors have been damaged. Your winch cables snapped and you're covered in scratches. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals! I'm really sorry, Helen. You're in such a sorry state. The mechanicals will fix you up and you'll soon be feeling great. They'll swap your broken rotors, spray your scratches and much more. Fit a thicker cable to your winch, far, far stronger than before. Fantastic. Now you're all fixed up, let's head back outside and test your tough new winch out. Let's try sorting the vehicles by colours of the rainbow. Starting with Fiona, the red fire truck on the left. Next is Max, the orange monster truck. Do you know who comes next? That's right, it's Rick, the yellow road roller. After Rick, it's Rebecca, the green recycling truck. Who's next? That's right, it's Millie the blue motorbike. And last, but definitely not least, it's Bobby the purple bus. OK, 
careful now, Helen. Nice and steady. Brilliant. The mechanicals have fixed you up and made your winch even stronger. You can lift Bobby up no problem. And now the vehicles form a perfect rainbow and they match the real rainbow up in the sky. Beautiful. Hello everyone. Our friend Max the monster truck is here at the stadium. He's practicing jumps and flips for his new super stunt show. Max wants to attempt a 360 degree backflip. It's one of the most difficult things a monster truck can do. To perform a perfect backflip and land back on his wheels again, Max needs to flip all the way over. Not 90 degrees. Not 180 degrees. Not 270 degrees. But a full 360 degrees. That's a full circle. Max is getting into position. I think he's ready. Three, two, one. Go, Max, go! 90 degrees? 180 degrees? 270 degrees? Oh no! Oh Max, you nearly made it. But you landed very hard on your front wheels. I think you might have broken something. Let's check your steering. Okay Max, try driving in a straight line. Oh dear. Now try turning left. Oh dear, oh dear. Now try turning right. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's not good. I think we need to get you to the garage right away. Hello, Tilly. Please can you come over to the stadium right away? Max needs your help. Hello Tilly, are we glad to see you. Max's front wheels don't seem right. Could you tow him to the garage please? And can you give me a lift back too? Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Max turn. Max's jump didn't go well. That landing sure looked sore. I think his axle might be bent. Let's lift him to make sure. The axle connects to the wheels and helps Mac change direction. Just look at his wheels sag. He needs closer inspection. With a broken axle, Max can't jump. This really isn't great. I'll call on the mechanicals to get that axle straight. Go, go mechanicals!
there. Max is looking much better now. Well done, Mechanicals. Hmm. I think Max needs more power to complete his backflip without crashing again. I'll get the Mechanicals to fit his engine with a turbocharger. The turbocharger fits onto Max's engine to make him more powerful so that he can go faster and jump further. Wow, listen to that! Sounds like Max is ready to try that jump again. Let's head back over to the stadium. Max is ready. Three, two, one, go! 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees, he's done it! A full backflip and a perfect landing. Well done, Max. I'm glad Max completed his amazing jump in the end, with a little help from his friends at Gecko's Garage. And here comes Rick the Road Roller. I don't think he's looking where he's going. Look out, Rick! Uh-oh! Too late. Ooh, what a nasty smash. The mechanicals are getting the garage ready for our poorly friend, Rick the Road Roller. Rick carries a big heavy drum in front of him, which he uses to flatten roads. That makes them nice and smooth. Rick's drum should be a cylinder shape, but that smash from Ryan has made it go all wonky. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hello, Rick. Wow, you really do have a problem today. Your drum is all broken and twisted. I think it needs replacing. Let's fit you a new one. Oh, Rick, what a mess you've got yourself in. Your drum's all twisted, and now it won't spin. We'll find a nice new drum, just for you. Let's fix you up. There, good as new. Hmm, that new drum doesn't look like the old cylinder. I think that's a sphere. A sphere is different from a circle. A circle is round and flat. A sphere is round, but solid, just like a ball. Let's test it out. I don't think this sphere is the right shape for Rick's drum. It's making Rick all dizzy and confused. Let's go back inside and try again. Don't worry Rick, no need to fear. The mechs will soon replace that sphere. Pop out the drum and look at that. A cylinder? whose sides are flat? Oh dear Mechanicals, that's not a cylinder shape, it's a cuboid. A cylinder has to be round. Rip can't roll a road using a shape with flat sides. All that thumping is giving Rick a headache. Now the mechs know what to avoid. Drums that are spherical, or cuboid. What's this drum they're trying to wrangle? I don't like the look of that triangle. That triangular prism isn't right either. Mechanicals, are you trying to make Rick crash? Oops, too late. There we go. That's a cylinder and it fits just right. The rounded shape is perfect for Rick to move around on and roll things flat. Oh, Blue Mechanical, are you okay? Oh dear, 
It looks like there's a leak in the garage roof. We'd better go up there and fix it. Mechanicals, I need a volunteer to come and help me out, please. Thanks, Blue. Yikes, it's very rainy out here. Be careful, Blue. I think there's a storm coming. Ah! Oh no! Blue Mechanical's been struck by lightning! Are you okay, Blue? Come on over and let's get you into the garage and check you out. Poor old Blue Mechanical. It must have been very frightening. One minute you're working on the roof, the next you're struck by lightning. Your friends have checked you over and listened to you whir and beep. Now they think you're probably okay. You just need a good night's sleep. Good morning everyone. It's another beautiful day at Gecko's Garage after the storm last night. How are you feeling, Blue Mechanical? There's no time for a break here at the garage. Here comes Max the monster truck. Max wants to go faster in his stunt show, so we're going to make some enhancements. Welcome, Max. With these changes we're going to make today, you're going to go as fast as lightning. Now, where did I put that screwdriver? Is it in this toolbox? No. In this drawer? No. Hmm. I really must get more organised. Now, where is it? Hmm. Max, where's your wheel gone? Well, that is a mystery, Max. I'm sure it'll turn up. But in the meantime, let's paint a new design on you. How about a lightning bolt? Blue? Blue? Are you okay, Blue Mechanical? Wah! Blue, what's got into you? Wah, stop that right now, Blue. Why are you being so naughty? Oh no! Look at the mess that naughty Blue Mechanical's made. He's malfunctioning. That means something is terribly wrong with his onboard computer. Blue, look at the damage you've done. How are we ever going to repair this? Oh, Blue, it's okay. We'll get to the bottom of the problem. I wonder if the malfunction was caused by that bolt of lightning last night. Oh, no! Not again! Oh, dear! He's on the loose and he could be anywhere! Mechanicals, we need to do everything we can to stop Blue. Go, go, Helen! Look, Mechanicals, there goes Millie the police motorbike. She's been called to an emergency. I just wonder if it's something to do with our blue friend. Let's follow her. Oh, look! Blue Mechanicals causing all sorts of trouble at the construction site. Gotcha! Come on, Naughty Blue. Let's head back to the garage and get you back to your old self again. Mechanicals, can you stay here and repair Rick and Celia, please? Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help 
a mechanical in need. We must fix Blue Mac's problem. This really can't go on. Some of the time he seems fine, but then he goes all wrong. He's really been so bad today, and not just once or twice. Something's made him naughty, when he's usually so nice. There's something up with his computer code. It's just one word that activates his mischief mode. Can you help me? What is the word on the screen? I can't say it in case Blue turns naughty again, but you can. If you can shout it out, then maybe we can help. Shout it out! Yes! You're right! I'll do some quick programming to remove the mischief mode from Blue's system. Now, let's try saying that word again together. Ready? Lightning! <coughs> Hooray! You're cured, Blue! Thanks for your help on that! That's okay, Blue. Thank you for saying sorry. Look at all this mess. And poor old Max is still without his wheel. Look, Blue. Our friends have arrived to help tidy up the mess. And Red Mechanical has found your wheel, Max. That's what friends are for. It's amazing what you can achieve when friends all pull together. If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching! Bye!